Naira. We're going in. Why would I trust you? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is technically the fifth night of Lanka. Now if you come to my channel for his love material reviews, we will get to that in just a little bit, but I just wanna say that this week I've been posting eight videos, you might be able to see that on my channel. Um, eight videos for the eight nights of Hanukkah and you can learn more about my Jewishness, Hanukkah, anti-Semitism and everything like that and a nice little vlog, vlog at the end of the week. So I'd really like it if you stick around and watch my vlogging videos. But if you're just here for the hit material reviews, that's fine by me. But this will be, this is the penultimate one, guys. The penultimate episode of the his Dark Materials reviews. How crazy is that? It's like the craziest thing ever. And this episode, like all the rest of them, did not disappoint. Like always, I'm going to go onto my phone and use my tweet thread as a little guide of my review. I'm gonna try and keep this short because I don't want to take too much of your time, but all in all, this episode was really wonderful, and there were some parts of this episode that just stuck out to me as exactly how I imagined them when I read the books, which is really lo lovely to see, and yeah, it was just so good. I saw, <laughs> the first thing that I, I literally shouted angels when we saw the angels across the sky, now, there are there's lots to talk about with the angels this episode. We have, we literally saw the angels protecting Mary from the spectres. <laughs> now, in the book, we obviously didn't see that because, because Mary didn't see it, but it looks like, it looked so good. I'm gonna go, I have to go back and rewatch it, but it honestly looked, amazing and I just want to give a round of applause to the effects in this episode because the angels and the spectres were wonderful this episode and the demons as always were wonderful and the storm was wonderful and it was just thank you bad wolf I said oh no when we started to see Lyra get chased by those other children now I'd already watched that little scene because it was up on the BBC website so I knew what was happening, I knew that they were going to be okay, um, obviously I knew they were going to be okay anyway but <sighs> Lyra was like oh my god witches came to protect me, like yes Lyra, <laughs> witches want to protect you and I can't remember what, what, what was going on, I think it was when they were like running up to the roof of the cafe, there was a really awesome pan transition I think he went from a bird into his little ermine form, but it was it was animated so well. The film store are doing these effects like so well and it was just so good. I just want to talk about Lee Scoresby in this episode. Now some of us know what's gonna happen next episode with some of the characters and I am not ready. I'm not ready. If you, if you haven't read the books, please don't watch my video. Please leave now because I will probably spoil things. I can't believe that he woohoo. <laughs> like, it was so Lee for him to woohoo as he was going into the tent. It was wonderful. Like, it was so Lee. Like, I couldn't imagine Lee just going through the thing being like, oh, this is cool. Like, he had to do that. Like, shouted, woohoo! Like, it's just... Did I mention I love Lee Scorsby? <laughs> I just loved seeing Mary in Chittagatse, like, we've seen her in such, like, normal situations in our world, like, with her sisters and at the lab and all of this stuff, and seeing her in Chittagatse and just, it's just so, I like seeing her use the eye chang, <sighs> like, you don't understand how happy it makes me to see the Sutton Life gets such a true to the book adaptation. Now, little things have been changed, but the essence of the book is in the show, and I just can't stop thinking about it. It's so good. It's so good. And Mary to get say was perfect. I love how much we are seeing them build Lyra and Will's relationship. Because those book fans, we know where that's headed. And and we know how that's gonna end, and just seeing 
their relationship sort of build. This episode was so beautiful. Like Lara being like, is Will safe to Serafina? Oh, I was like crying. And Will, when he apologized and just their relationship when they were sat, like just there, like they, when they were sat on the edge of the cliff, like I can feel my, like, I know my heart is gonna get broken. Whenever we get that season three, whenever that is, and how many of the years time it's gonna be, maybe two, three, four, who knows, if there even will be one, but if and when that happens, I will be devastated. Absolutely devastated. And I have, I had been waiting for the scene where the witches heal Will since I realised what that shot in the trailer was. It was towards the end of the first trailer and it was on for maybe half a second and it took me a while to decode what that was and I've been waiting for the witches healing scene since then, since July, I've been waiting for that scene and it was so good. <laughs> this episode was just so good, like I don't have anything negative to say about this episode. I think in, in, in a lot of the episodes, I've been, had like one little thing, like last episode that like Mary didn't destroy the cave herself and like other things. I've had a few like little, like that was a little bit, that was like, you know, wasn't at my high expectation level or it wasn't as good as the rest. But honestly, this episode was so good, like I don't think I can, there's nothing negative that I can say. There's nothing negative that I can say. Now, let's talk about Mrs. Coulter and Boreal. I always was wondering in my head how Mrs. Coulter controlled the spectres, but to hear her say that she just pushes down everything that's human about her and they leave her alone. And I think maybe it helps that she has the connection sort of half severed with the monkey, but she was so like, I don't know whether I'm attracted to women, but she was very attractive in that scene. Like she was just so powerful and awe inspiring and brave and strong in that scene. Like it was just incredible. And I don't think I've ever, ah, Ruth Wilson is such a good actress. Oh my God. And the fact where, and when Boreal was like, you're my equal, and then she kills him, and then she's like, no, I'm not your equal. You are not my equal. I am so much better than you. And I was like, yes, girl, you are better than him. So much better than him. And I know you've done some questionable things, including murdering him right now, but we still love you. And This episode was just so good. I'm gonna leave my review there because otherwise it'll be really long and I won't have time to edit it tonight, but I loved, I loved this episode. And if this episode is telling of what's to come next episode, the book will be adapted beautifully and it will be, it will be really good. It'll be really nice. For the first time in a long time, I'm close to my father. It's time I find him. Run. Come on! I don't think I'm ready for things to change. I don't think anyone ever is. So, thanks very much for watching this. Let me know your thoughts down below and thanks for being a faithful and thanks for watching. Mwah.